And now Storm Tracker weather with meteorologist Michael Ottovino. It's another cool one out there across the region to, to start off this Friday morning. Temperatures in the 20s and 30s. We're at 25 right now across Idaho Falls. 20 in Jackson, 18 in West Yellowstone, 32 degrees currently in the Pocatello area. And talking about temperatures over the next couple of days to close off the work week today. We are very mild. We'll be at 62 this afternoon with lots of sunshine, but big changes on the way for the weekend. A cold front moves through early for tomorrow, bringing us cooler temperatures by just about 15 degrees out there into tomorrow. High temperatures again in those middle 40s. The winds crank up for tomorrow. They'll also continue into the Sunday time frame where temperatures drop even more into the 30s. To give you an idea of the storm tracker satellite and radar right now, again, clear to start off this morning. Maybe a few clouds across parts of the central mountains and the western half of Wyoming, but we're clear across the Snake River Plain and we'll stay that way throughout the day. But that cold front that I mentioned well out to our northwest, this is what will be pushing through our area by about the early half of tomorrow and that will bring us again cooler temperatures. We could even see some snow showers locally across the Snake River Plain and for the highlands in western Wyoming potentially some accumulating snow even across some of the mountain areas one to four inches possible looks like across the Jackson area just about one inch. So if you'll be traveling to those areas tomorrow be aware of that you could encounter some winter driving conditions. Today though for the Snake River Plain locally a beautiful day to close off the work week temperatures in the 50s and 60s with plenty of sunshine. We'll be at 58 today for Idaho Falls, 55 across Rexburg, 62 for Pocatello. For the Central Mountains, mainly sunny. Expect to see a few clouds passing through at times with those high temperatures in the 50s and 60s. 58 today for Lettor, 57 for Stanley, 62 across Chalice and for the Highlands in Western Wyoming. Also expect some afternoon clouds out there, but high temperatures rather pleasant compared to what you have been seeing for this week will be in the 40s and 50s. 50 today for Afton, 49 for Jackson, 45 across Island Park. And looking ahead to tonight, temperatures will be a bit warmer, higher elevations seeing the 20s and even some of the, the lower elevations in the valleys seeing those lower 40s. And for the Central Mountains, expect to see some late night snow that could continue into tomorrow morning. And even for the Yellowstone area, expect that as well. For the Snake River Plain, we'll start off mostly clear with some clouds passing through for the overnight hours. Hours. For a more localized travel forecast for tomorrow, again, if you'll be traveling for West Yellowstone, Jackson, do expect to see some snow out there for the Snake River Plain, a chance for some snow showers. Again, high temperature is much cooler out there in the 40s, and it will be windy out there tomorrow as well. Your Southeast Idaho Chevy dealer's seven-day forecast leaves us with a chance for some snow showers tomorrow. Windy to start off the weekend, not quite as windy on Sunday, but still windy compared to what we'll see out there for today. Temperatures dropping throughout the weekend, even next week looking very cool as of now as well. Idaho Falls, your seven day forecast, sunny for today, some chance of snow showers tomorrow. Temperatures dropping by 16 degrees into tomorrow and then even cooler on Sunday with temperatures in the 30s. For the Teton area, expect a mainly sunny sky today, rain and snow possible tomorrow with high temperatures, very cold in your area into next week, overnight lows, single digits to even below zero Tuesday into Wednesday and across the central mountains, Salmon Chow, Mackie, mainly sunny for today with a chance for some snow showers tomorrow.